Hey YouTube, we're back again with some more um, try-ons of the Sephora Clean Collection stuff that was mailed to me. And I'm going to do a quick look, or I'm, I'm going to try and make a quick, with the eyeshadow palette, which says, in the letter they sent, Clean Bounty Eyeshadow Palette. These eyeshadows, fun bouncy texture, make them easy to apply with your fingers. The shadows are made with pearls, resort, resulting in a gorgeous, lustrous sheen. Uh, and on the inside, beauty at your fingertips, touch, swipe, and go. I was just looking at these before I started this video, and I realized they are all shimmers. And so I think this is a one and done type palette. Put your finger in and swipe it, and that's it. I don't think these are meant to do a complete eye look. And I say that because there are no mattes in here. But that's just my preference. I do prefer a matte somewhere, <laughs> even if it's just in my crease. And so I am going to use brushes because I do not like applying shadow with my fingers. And we will see what we can come up with. And I also realized, even though I'm looking at it, when I sat here thinking of what to do, I, that's when I realized there was no mirror. Not a big deal because we all have mirrors. <laughs> my lids are already primed with the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer. And I also primed underneath my lower lash line. And this is the brush that I use to um, smooth out the eyeshadow primer. And I think it expired because I put this on and then my lid started itching. Not a good thing. So, for one, it's not good <laughs> that my lids are itching from the primer. But also, if I have a reaction to the shadows, I won't know it because I'm already having a reaction to the primer. Yes, y'all, I am that sensitive. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to take... Do they have numbers? They don't have anything. Um, I'm going to take this shade here. And I'm going to go straight in. I think you have to use your finger. This is not picking up anything. This is not picking up anything. Oh my goodness. I think I see a little bit of shine. This is not made for a brush at all. And it is picking up some on the brush. And I'm still, like, and I'm going hard. And I can see the indentations in the shadow. I can see the swirls in the shadow. Like, I am pressing hard. Oh, my goodness. And so it is coming off on the brush. But this is the, um, oh, my goodness. If you're a one and done you know, swipe your finger in the shadow and put it on. This will be great for you. It is going on, but... Wow. Like, this does not really give you an option except to use it with your finger. And I hate... Oh my gosh, I hate it. I hate using my fingers. Okay, I do have another cloth over here. I'm just going to go for it and... <laughs> Okay, let me put my brushes away, except one, because I am going to try to put something under my lower lash line. I want to cry. <laughs> this is not at all what I expected. So I'm going to do the same shade. I'm going to, and also I don't like using my fingers, because number one, I don't like getting my hands dirty, and then number two, you, you can't get the precision that you want. And even when I see people applying shadow with their finger, they still end up going in with a brush to like blend it, smooth it out, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just like, just let me use a brush in the first place. It is smooth because look, you see a dent in there. So this is definitely how they're saying, you know, bounce formula because it it is uh, bouncy. But I am like really digging my finger in it. It's getting deeper as I go. I'm trying to smooth it out, but it's just moving it. And I'm not ambidextrous. And so it's like, how do I do this eye to look like the other eye with the angle that I am on? Oh my goodness. This is not at all <laughs> what I expected. But we'll see what we can do with it and it's getting worse by the dip look at that ah! 
you're one and done you will love it it does go on smooth it's not skipping it is just going like straight across wow like i did not ex <laughs> expect to like not <laughs> be able to use a brush like i thought i would have an option but no there's no option but we're gonna see what what happens okay and i have a fiber cloth um, a microfiber cloth here that I keep wiping my finger on and I got stubby fingers and so like to get precise like I don't like this I'm going through y'all like this this is new for me and I'm gonna <laughs> gonna go on with this shade in the middle this is interesting I'm gonna put that on the inner corner wow This is really interesting. Maybe I will start using my finger to do shadows. Those chroma crystals that I hate. As much as I love Natona, Natona, Natasha Denona, I hate the chroma crystals because they do work better with your finger and I don't like getting my fingers messy. <laughs> This is not what I expected. I'm going with this shade here in the middle up top. And even though I'm wiping my fingers off, like you have to wipe to get it off. Like it is not easily <laughs> moving. All right, so I'm going into this middle shade. Ooh, look at that. I should have swatched these for you guys, right? Since I'm digging in it anyway. So we're going to put that there. I'm not sure if these are even really showing on my complexion. Wow, and I probably just should have did one eye, but at least you guys get to see how these work and how quickly you can do a look, minus like the first minute of me trying to get the brush to work. So this is real time here. Wow, this is an experience. I am like really going through it here and then like having to keep wiping my fingers in between so it is a one and go just pick one color swipe it on and then that's it because this going back and forth is taking up too much time well and and in reality is not <laughs> but I'm just like I'm, I'm I'm just beside myself do you see me over here I'm like oh beside myself so I'm going to take this shade <laughs> and put that in the outer corner Pulling it inward. Can I do that on that side? No, let me just use my other finger. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I, I hear that song in my head from Dirty Dancing. I'm having the time of my life, or whatever that song is. And I know I. I I sound like a sick bullfrog. I was told I was par partially tone deaf by someone who is a good singer. And I believe it. Because sometimes I'm on key and sometimes I'm off. And I have to really pay attention to be on key. And I sound better in lower tones than I do trying to sing like an alto. I think I'm like um, a low alto. I have no idea what this is looking like. When I play back the video then I'll see because I am you know let me and I'm, I'm and I keep trying not to touch stuff because I don't want to get that's just from this you know I don't want to get things dirty you know it looks okay minus there not being any mats and I have one at the Sephora foundation and I did set it with powder but I am sweating as I always do with the lights and I do have on one of their glossy lip oils which I really like so I don't know like I this is a lazy day palette just you want to be quick swipe one color and just head out the door and so I'm going to try I want to put something under my lower lash line but I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick it up on a brush. 
let me oh gosh I'm gonna try to pick up some of this shade on this brush which it did pick up on the brush <laughs> look at that just like <laughs> it is bouncy it's living up to his name so we are okay this does lay here I do have to put pressure on the brush to get it off of the brush but that did work wow this is really interesting very interesting I would give this to a teenager who is just starting out in makeup or is wanting to ex ex explore makeup excuse my lack of speaking ability because then they can just play in this and just use their finger and go but as a 50 year old woman like I, I I at least want the option of using a brush I'm going to wipe this off to the best of my ability and I'm going to use this shade up here I'm going to destroy that shadow <laughs> this is just funny to me like I and I'm going to put that down here and also up here like in the tear duct area so I guess if you're using a really firm brush it may work and I'm gonna try it let me see I'm gonna take this um, angled brush with this dark shade again and I am going to load it or try to load it and see if I can press that in, I just really want to use a brush. And I can't really tell. Goodness. Mm, mm, mm. If this is going on or not. I think so. I really don't know. And there's no mirror, so you gotta. I don't know. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take that same dark shade just for giggles, press into it hard, and try to see if. I can get it across my lid because then if so that means I can use a dense brush with these shadows I don't like the amount of pressure that I have to put on my eye but it is working and I actually do like that look a little bit better but the thing is is the palette is what it says touch swipe and go so like all of this I'm doing right now is not what this palette was meant for and so I'm not going to say I don't like it because if something does what it says it does then that's two thumbs up for, from me and so I'm not going to complain I will just say this is not a palette for me however if you're a one-and-done finger swipe person you will love it and so my review is not a bad review because there are people I know people who are like oh yeah I just use my finger they don't even use eyeshadow primer and I'm just like oh if it works for you you know go for it and so this will work for someone I like this better um, but it's just a lot of work to use it the way I want to which is with a brush and it's not meant to be used with a brush so I'm going to end this video here <laughs> Ooh, that was an experience as my dad would say whoa child that was an experience look at that the only one I didn't use was this one wow that's something that is something um <laughs> It, it, it is for what it says it's for. Use it how it says to use it. Touch, swipe, and go. They didn't lie. They did not lie. Alright, so that's it for, for this video. I am just beside myself. I am tickle pink. Um, well, tickle tan. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm going to go and I'm going to do another video using one of their... Um, 
makeup removing wipes to see how that removes what I have on my face and <laughs> this is just hilarious to me um I crack myself up I hope I'm as entertaining to you as I am to myself if so go ahead and subscribe <laughs> click the notification bell and you will see me in the next video thank you